Are you wondering how you can promote your virtual open house over on Instagram? Don't worry, I can help. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and author of the book, Get Social Smart. And it's episode 183 of the Get Social Smart show. And today we are gonna give you three ideas on how to promote your virtual open houses over on Instagram. Now, if you're watching this video over on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and the bell button because we have new videos that are coming out each and every week. And as a lot of you know, my real estate friends, 2020 has not been the year we all expected. And so, so many of you are running virtual open houses. It's one of the reasons we've done a ton of videos and training about that. In fact, we're gonna put some of those videos and resources um, in the section below, in the description below, so you can check those out if you're looking for additional resources. But part of having a successful virtual open house is promoting it. And our last video was all about promoting it on Facebook. This one is gonna be all about Instagram. So here we go, here are my three favorite tips. Number one, add the link to your bio. So as we know on Instagram, you're only allowed one live link on Instagram, so we love using Linktree. Linktree is a great free tool where you can add multiple links in your bio, so we recommend adding the link to your Facebook business page or if you have a specific link that you're going to use for your virtual open house, that way in your posts, in your stories, in your posts on your feed, you can promote uh, that people click the link in your bio for more information and to make sure they tune in to watch you on your virtual open house. Tip number two, Instagram stories. So you wanna use Instagram stories a few days in advance as well as the day of your virtual open house. So if you're doing a virtual open house, let's say on a Sunday, I'd recommend a couple days in advance jumping on Instagram stories and you might uh, say something like, you know, hey guys, I'm so excited. I've got a virtual open house coming up on Sunday. It's gonna be at 123 Main Street. I can't wait to give you guys a sneak peek into this house and share with you a really cool fact about the kitchen. Click the link in my bio for more information. So you see what I did? You get on camera, have a little bit of energy, have fun, talk about what it is that you're gonna talk about, give the address, have a call to action for people to click the link in your bio, and you might even just you know drop a little bit of a teaser or mention the fact you're gonna share a story or a fun fact, which as a side note is a, is a really great tip for how to have a successful virtual open house because let's face it, we could find the facts of a house anywhere, but what's really interesting are the stories and the analogies and why someone moved in originally. What's the, the thing that they loved most about about that house or what's the story behind that kitchen remodel. So kind of pulling out those things and we can use those in our Instagram stories to kind of plant the seeds for why people should tune in. Another cool thing that you can do inside Instagram stories is add the countdown sticker. So there's a little countdown sticker which means it will give people a little bit of a timer. People can click on that and set a timer so they know when to catch you live. Tip number three, post a carousel post in the feed. So on your feed in Instagram, you can post pictures or videos as we know, but with pictures, actually pictures and videos, you can post multiple pictures and multiple videos in one post. That's considered a carousel post. You can post up to 10 in one post. Now, one of the reasons for doing this is actually um, a couple things. First of all, it's a great way for you to showcase a couple pictures of the house, give people a little bit of a sneak peek um, into the property. In that description, you're gonna wanna mention the address, what time your live, uh, and of course the link to, uh, you, you wanna tell people to click the link in your bio so they can watch you live. But also with a carousel post, what's kind of interesting, a little bit of a fun fact, but when you're scrolling through Instagram, if someone else is, one of your followers, if they're scrolling through Instagram and they don't click on your post the first time around, when you have a carousel post, the next time they're on, on Instagram, they are more likely to actually see your post. See, Instagram does this thing where when you're on Instagram and you're scrolling through a post, if you don't see it the first time, if it's a carousel post, a lot of times Instagram serves it up to you, you just see another photo in the carousel. So if you're posting a carousel that has two, three, four, five pictures, that post typically is going to get a little bit more traction than just a post with one picture. A little bit of a fun fact there when it comes to Instagram. So those three things can make a big difference and this is especially helpful if you're really active on Instagram. It's a great way to promote your virtual open house that you might be hosting over on Facebook, but do so on Instagram. Okay, I would love to hear from you. Have you hosted a virtual open house? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. And by the way, if you're listening to this and wondering, uh, you know, maybe you're thinking you need a whole plan when it comes to virtual open houses. First of all, you're not alone. And we actually put together a great handbook with everything you need to know to put together a smart virtual open house strategy. We have examples and checklists and everything that you're gonna need to know. So we will put the link um, down below so you can check that out, uh, order your copy. And of course, for more information about social media in general, especially when it comes to real estate, please visit me at katielance.com.